Fourth week for me in quarantine with COVID-19. It's been crazy, unprecedented, uncharted waters. And we still got toilet paper, so all is well in our world. <laughs> but it's been a crazy adventure over the last month. You know, it's been a lot of quality time with the family, a lot of walks on the beach because I live right next to the water on the river. Uh, date night is getting a little bit uniform because we just go walking on the beach every single Wednesday. But hey, it's still hump day, so it's not a bad day. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's been uh, a rather challenging and also adventurous time for me, you know, looking for ways to be the light in the darkness, looking for ways to rise up and be a merchant of certainty so I can lead by example and show you guys how to do likewise. And uh, it's been yet challenging as well as rewarding because I've been seeing how my clients have been rising up and being leaders for their constituencies, being leaders for their clients, leaders for their realtors, leaders for their partners. And they're taking the step of not just talking about it, not just having lip service to it, but they're really embodying it. It's been amazing to see. You know, I saw a uh, one of my Seven Figure Lender Academy clients give a shout out to Robert Spiegel. He's been doing amazing job lately in being leadership and certainty to his realtors in the time when they really need it, when they're not able to show their open houses, they're not able to show their properties, they're hunkering down, freaking out, wondering how the heck they're going to be able to make ends meet as many of their deals have fallen out. They're not able to do business as usual. Robert's been able to answer a lot of their questions, been able to show them how to expand while everyone else is contracting. And he's been able to do that in new ways he's never done before, like Facebook Lives and been able to actually be a light in the darkness for them to show them how they can actually grow their business even in quarantine even in the midst of COVID-19 and all the craziness and all the uncertainty, bringing certainty in the midst of uncertainty. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about today is how to attract top producing agents as partners in the midst of quarantine, in the midst of the storm, in the midst of COVID-19 and all the craziness that's swirling around right now without the hell of cold calling and without even having to meet with them in person. How to use digital media digital methods like the telephone and Zoom to be able to attract them, not just attract them, but win their trust and become their exclusive partners where they send you all their business all the time. They make you their exclusive. They put you on their speed dial. You might be thinking, Doran, is that really possible? Hell yeah, it is. And I'm going to share with you in a moment how to do exactly that. So that being said, let's get into it, shall we? Let's talk about how you can actually do this. Now, before we talk about how to do it. Let's talk about why to do it. Why bother going after top producing agents and why now? Well, the real answer comes from the flip side, which is why would you want to waste your time with bottom feeding, whining, suddenly complaining, jelly donut eating low producers who don't have any business, who are commiserating, complaining, and really aren't bringing a solution to anything. They're just bringing a problem to it and they're expanding the problem by virtue of focusing on it because what you focus on expands, right? Where your attentions go, your energies show and your results grow. So you wanna be able to work with people who actually have the, uh, uh, the capacity to send you more business, right? You wanna be able to work with agents who have a, a lot more business to send you, who have the capacity to send you more buyers and are more inclined to be thinking about solutions instead of problems. The low producers, their inclination is to hunker down, look at the news all day, every day, freak out and be a victim, victim to circumstance and be at the effect instead of being at the cause. And you want to waste your time trying to get those people to send you business? I don't think so. The people you want on your team are rock stars. They're the cool cats. They got great energy. They've got great synergy with you. They appreciate you. They like you. They've got a huge database of potential buyers. They're, you know, ambitious. They're hardworking. They got a positive mental attitude. They got a great mindset. Those are the ones you want to work with. You might be thinking, Dora, those are unicorns. Well, exactly. You've got to 
rise to the level that you want to attract, which means you need to start with you leading by example. Are you the unicorn you want to attract? Are you the winner you want to attract? Do you have a lifestyle and a routine that is worthy of emulation? Because if you're just starting the day watching the news, getting all whipped into fear and uncertainty about all that's going on and you're overwhelmed and you're freaked out, you got to be knowing there's a reason why you're not feeling very motivated to go out there and talk to clients or talk to realtors. There's a reason why these top dogs aren't giving the time of day because energetically you're repelling them. You're dialed into the station called Oh Shit FM instead of Abundance FM, Victory FM, Winning FM. You got to get yourself dialed into victory. And now you have the vibrational frequency attuned to victory such that you can attract victory, such that you can attract people who are on that same wavelength, that same frequency. And why now? Well, this is the best time ever to be expanding while everyone else is contracting, while everyone else is hunkering down, waiting for the smoke to clear and the storm to roll over, while everyone else is glued to their devices and the TV, freaking out, watching the news all day, every day, stacking toilet paper and Campbell's soup and hoping for this to roll over, sticking their heads in the proverbial turtle shells. You can be expanding. You can be poaching top producing agents as partners away from these lazy, apathetic and whipped into fear uh, hunkering in their shells, loan officers that aren't part of the solution. They're just part of the problem. You can be poaching away their top producing agents who need someone to show up as the beacon of hope, as the light in the darkness, as a pillar of strength, someone who's bringing real solutions to the table, who can help them grow while everyone else is just hunkering down. And you can be expanding while your competition is stepping out of your way. You can leave them in the dust. I'll tell you right now, your competition is going to start dropping like flies. We're not over with the shakedown yet. Chances are this is going to be like cleaning out a closet. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Now you can, you know, whistle in the wind, whistle in the midst of the tornado and say everything's going to be lollipops, unicorns and rainbows and everything's getting better starting today. That's all great, fine and dandy. But when you're on the front lines with real bullets flying by your head, it helps to actually have accurate thinking. It helps to actually prepare for the battle because the more you prepare for in training with sweat, the less you bleed in battle. So that means accurate thinking and realizing that yes, there's gonna be some real turbulence. We're in real turbulence now and that real turbulence is gonna continue for some time. So we might as well use that turbulence to get better, stronger, wiser and sharper and use it to win, use it to soar. It's like the eagle, right? The eagle loves the wind. Why? Because he just spreads his wings and soars on it. He doesn't have to flap his wings. He just spreads his wings and lets that wind propel him upwards and give him a wild ride, an adventure. I invite you to do likewise and embrace the adventure of it and use it as an opportunity. It's happening for you. It's not happening to you. So this is a unique window of opportunity to rise up and win while everyone else is just hunkering down playing defense. That's the big idea. Now, as you probably have noticed, Conventional methods tend to produce conventional results. Conventional thinking tends to produce conventional results. What is conventional? Conventional is doing what the lion's share of the so-called experts and mortgage marketing coaches will tell you, which is go out there, call the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday with the same lame ass pitch, talking about great rates, great service. What do you do on the weekend? You got any you know, people who need my help? That is lame, my friends. You know it and I know it. That's why you don't want to do it because realtors don't want to give you the time of day. They're avoiding your call. They're like, dude, you called me the last five or six or 10 Mondays. Don't you have something better to offer? If you're anything like me, that is intuitively not a good feeling because you know you're not really bringing anything of unique value and you're wasting their time and you're wasting your time. And you wonder why you're not motivated to do it. Well, it's because intuitively you're an intelligent human being and you don't like wasting your time or anyone else's time. Cold calling is dead, my friends. Yes, it works. I mean, if you throw enough yoga to the fan, eventually something's going to stick. So yes, it does work. It works better than nothing. But I mean, a lot of things work better than nothing. You know, it's like 
if you're going to show up to the gunfight with a butter knife, sure, the butter knife works better than nothing, perhaps, but it's still not going to help you win the battle. We got to get you equipped to win, and it's going to take more than a butter knife. So as far as I'm concerned, cold calling is from the dark ages. It's old hat. It's old news, and it's doing it the hard way. Now, you can say, well, Doran, it's been working for me. Yeah. I mean, if you want to build the foundation for a skyscraper, you're going to need to big a, dig a really big hole to build that foundation. You can dig that hole with a gardening trowel or a shovel, and yeah, you'll make some progress, more progress than using your hands. But my friend, it's a hell of a lot harder than using 21st century technology called an excavator. Why not upgrade to the excavator? That's what I'm talking about. Why waste your time doing it the hard way? Life is too short to mess around doing it the hard way. Wouldn't you agree? So as far as I'm concerned, cold calling is dead. Now, the cool thing about it is you guys already feel that intuitively, but a lot of you have just had a hard time letting go of the dark ages with Cro-Magnon caveman marketing because you're hearing from so many different sources that that's the way to do it. Well, just because everyone thinks that the earth is flat, it doesn't mean the earth is flat. That's, you know, before Galileo came on the scene, everyone thought the world was flat. And he's like, no, it's not flat. It's round. Everyone's like, no, it's not. Let's burn this guy. This guy is telling us heresy. And next thing you know, sure enough, the world is round, not flat. So just because other people are saying it and thinking it and doing it doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean it's the best way to do it. So another thing that's a conventional thought and a conventional method is going after realtors offering great rates, great service. I got great rates. I got great service. I can help you qualify your, your, your clients, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Everyone offers that and everyone can do that. And that's a minimum expectation just to be in business. Of course you can do that. That's what you do as a mortgage professional. That's just, that's just normal. That's blase Dullsville normal. Now, if you want to be a top dog, if you want to be a top producer, if you want to be extraordinary, you can't afford to be ordinary. You can't afford to think ordinary. You can't afford to communicate ordinary. You can't afford to just have a blase Dullsville ordinary proposition. You got to have something that compels, that attracts, that's unique, that's fascinating, that's refreshing, something that gets them to say, oh, I like that, something fresh, something unique, something different, something that actually matters to them. And it ain't great rates and great service. You know it and I know it. So the other thing that I think is worth mentioning is that offering unqualified leads is a burden. There's a lot of marketing programs out there nowadays that are saying the best way to attract top producing agents is help them generate leads on Facebook or whatever. Yeah, that's great in the absence of no one else doing that. But when a bunch of other people are doing that, what happens is they get an experience of it and they realize, oh crap, this is a lot of work. There's a bunch of tire kickers. There's a bunch of chaff. I got to weed through a mountain of gravel just to find one measly nugget. This is hard freaking work. I don't know if I like this. So just giving them a bunch of unqualified leads doesn't actually make their life any easier or any better or any more fruitful. They don't want unqualified leads. They want hot for what they've got pre-approved buyers. That's what they want, among other things. They want automation. They want more deals in less time, more sales in less time, energy and effort. They want to be able to convert more of their leads into hot for what you got, buyers and sellers but they certainly don't want a bunch of chaff. They don't want to have a mountain of crap leads that don't convert. So why feed them that? And a lot of these marketing programs out there, that's what they're getting you to do. Spend time, energy, and money and hard earned capital on Facebook ad spends and so on. And all it does is just waste your time and theirs. And that's your unique value proposition is giving them a mountain of leads that don't convert. I don't think so. As uh, the, the fantastic 80s show in living color once said, homie, don't play that, right? <laughs> These realtors, they don't want to play that. They don't want to play that game. That's just a waste of time. And life is too short to waste their time with unqualified leads that don't convert. Now, another thing worth mentioning is that groveling for business, as you guys know, freaking sucks. It does, right? I mean, come on groveling, begging, chasing, bribing for business. That's no way to live. That's no fun. 
You got to give up your dignity just to try and get some business. You kidding me? Is that really what you signed up for? Is that the kind of business you wanted to create when you got into this business? I don't think so. You want a business and you wanted a business, I'm sure, even from the start when you dreamed about getting into business for yourself with unlimited upside potential and freedom, you wanted to be able to have great relationships, meaningful relationships, fun relationships, cool cats that you enjoy hanging with that have mutual respect, rapport, connection. That's what you want, right? You don't want to have to grovel. You don't want to be on the short end of the stick all the time. You don't want to feel like the realtor is just like towing you around by the nose. You don't want to feel like you're their proverbial loan officer bitch, just you know, doing whatever they want you to do. You want to feel like it's mutual respect, mutual commitment, mutual loyalty. True? So groveling for business is the opposite of that. And what you allow persists. If you allow that energy, if you allow that dynamic, if you allow that kind of dynamic to happen in your life, in your business, guess what? That's on you because you're allowing it. What you allow persists. What you permit persists. So the first step to breakthrough is just to get that you can have it any way you want it. If you don't settle, you can have it the way you want it. You can have a kick-ass team. You can have top producing agents who send you all their business. You can have them be loyal. You can have them love you and appreciate you. You can have that mutual respect and rapport and loyalty. You can, but you can't do it if you keep doing it the way you've been doing it. Because, you know, if you keep doing it the way you've always been doing it, you're going to keep getting it the way you've always been getting it. It's like the definition of insanity, right? You do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That ain't going to work. But if you're willing to learn a better way, a more effective way, a more elegant way, a more fruitful and streamlined and simple way that actually works, you can have it the way you want it. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You can have the income you want, the lifestyle you want, the flexibility and freedom you want, the partnerships you want, the schedule you want. You can have it the way you want if you don't settle, but not if you're groveling and not if you allow other people to tow you around by the nose and not if you're a yesaholic and say yes to everything and everyone, because if you say yes to everything and everyone, you're saying no to your dream. You're saying no to how you really want it, your true heart's desire. It's time to have it the way you want it, which means saying no to anything that doesn't work for you, period. End of story. The battered woman who keeps coming back to her boyfriend or her husband who keeps beating her up is perpetuating the problem because she accepts it and she allows it. You gotta just rise up and say enough is enough, no more, I've had it. I will not allow this to persist in my business, not another freaking day, period. Now we're ready for a breakthrough. Now we're ready to soar. Now we're ready to rise up and win. That's the precursor to your breakthrough right there. Now, when it comes to really winning with real estate agents, you gotta set yourself up so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. How's that for flipping the script, right? Where they need what you bring to the table more than you need what they bring to the table because of your certainty, because of your competence and your confidence, because of your marketing systems, because you help them dominate on Google. You help them convert their open house leads into hot for what you got leads. You help them convert their dead leads into resurrected, engaged, and committed leads. You help them get more listings. You help them set up a schedule that allows them to win every freaking day. You help them navigate through turbulence and challenges and problems like a hot knife through butter all day, every day. You help them show up and you know, rise up and be a champion, the champion they're capable of being. So they eat problems for breakfast all day, every day, and they win because you help them win. That's what it's about, guys. It's about helping these people win like never before, but that's not gonna happen if you just become a replaceable commodity. Hey, thanks, hon. <laughs> How's that for service? Check this out. Live on Facebook, y'all. This is called Quarantine Culinary Delights right here. I got a little fresh produce, a little uh, uh, lasagna. I'm feeling like that Tommy Wu guy. I, I don't know why I keep bringing back In Living Color, but there was an awesome skit in In Living Color where they're making fun of Tommy Wu. Apparently, he was on like late night TV talking about you know how he could help you buy the big hope, uh, you know, get rich so you can have the beautiful babes and the big boats and the fancy cars. You'd be like, come to my seminar. I teach you my secrets. 
right? <laughs> well, come to my seminar. I teach you my secrets, how you get very good food, fresh, off the plate, while you're on quarantine, do Facebook Live, same time, no problem. Come to my seminar. I teach you my secrets. <laughs> Anyhow, at least I'm joking. At least I'm laughing, laughing at my own stupid jokes. So it's time to flip the script, y'all. It's time to set it up so that these realtors need you more than you need them. And that means you need to have a kick-ass unique value proposition that has you stand out from the pack, that allows you to really stand out from the clutter like never before. And it doesn't actually take that much. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king, right? So it doesn't take that much. Everyone else is just boring. Everyone else is just so lame that it doesn't take much. All you need is one eye and all of a sudden you're king. So don't overthink this. Like it has to be super fancy. You just have to actually bring real value to the table. And if you bring that with a genuine desire to care, to really care about serving people, not for a paycheck, not for a commission, not with commission breath halitosis, but with a real genuine desire to serve, to be the light in the darkness, to be a solution that makes a difference in their life. I'm telling you, just that genuine intention alone separates you from the pack. You can't fake caring. You either care or you don't. You can't fake it. And if you truly care, about helping people and you're willing to only give your gift to people that you want to give your gift to, that you love to serve and who love to be served by you. Now you've got this magical synergistic connection where you give your gift to them, they give their gift to you. It's reciprocal. And that's when it just feels right. You know, it's like, yes, this is the way I've always wanted it. It's been that elusive butterfly. And finally, I've got it. Why? Because number one, you realize it's possible. Number two, you realize if it's possible, why not for me? Other people are doing it. They're no smarter than me. They're no better than me. Why not me? Right? And number three, you realize that as long as you can bring real value to the table and you set standards with, in terms of who you work with, and instead of them interviewing you, you interview them. Now you've got the cookie. Now you've got the power position. Now you can charge forward with confidence, with your shoulders back and your chin up with dignity, knowing you're not coming to get, you're coming to give. You're not showing up like everyone else being the mortgage parasite. Hell no. You're showing up as a true leader. You're showing up not just as a mortgage professional. You're showing up as a marketing professional, as a partner someone who actually helps them elevate in other areas of their life, aside from just helping them get loans, loans done, which means you need to become the best version of yourself. And as you step into the champion self, the winner self, your higher self, and you become the best version of yourself, now you're able to help your partners do likewise. And that's what they need. They need someone who is defiantly committed to turning every adversity into opportunity, who's defiantly committed to winning because they realize winning is their birthright. It may not be easy, it may not be comfortable, but they realize they were knit in their mother's womb for a special plan and a special purpose. And it wasn't losing, it wasn't complaining, it wasn't whining and sniveling that life should be easier. Let other people do that. Let your competition do that, but not you. You realize that if you want to be the heavyweight champion of the world, you're going to get punched in the freaking face. Get over it. Suck it up, buttercup. That's just the way it is. Use it to get stronger, better, sharper. If you're going to reach for big goals, if you're going to reach for higher ground, it's going to come with some big challenges. Bring it on, baby. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Bring it. We eat that shit for breakfast all day, every day. That's the champion's way. So bring that mindset. Embrace that mindset and bring that to the table with your partners. It's going to change everything for you. It's time to flip the script. And then it's a matter of having a system to be able to take these top producing agents and to be able to attract them to you without the hell of cold calling. So in our system, what we do is we teach you how to compile that list of top producing agents, the shortcuts to avoid wasting time, energy, and effort by compiling this list super easy, super quick. And then once you have this list of 50 to 100, 
Then we have a system called the Realtor Attraction System that allows you to sift and sort through this list of people that frankly, you don't even know yet. They might know you or they might know of you, but you don't have a partnership yet. And it allows you to sift and sort through them really efficiently. It allows the cream to rise to the top. So you just grab your spoon and scrape the cream off the top. And so it sends a multimedia campaign that allows you now to convert 40 to 50% of those people into respondents who respond to your campaign. And then about 30 to probably 50% of those are hot for what you got and are ready to talk and meet with you now. So you just pick up the phone and start booking appointments like a hot knife through butter. Zero cold calling, zero rejection, zero chasing, chasing, begging, or bribing. You just pick up the phone and book appointments. We've had clients book appointments like you wouldn't believe. Eleven, One dude booked 11 appointments in one day without making a single cold call. How awesome is that? 11 appointments in one day. That's what I call working smart, not just working hard. So you want to have a system for that. And then you need a system for interviewing them and taking them from just a prospect into having them be someone who not only is interested in having a conversation, but opens up and shares their trials, tribulations, challenges, frustrations, pain points, identify where they're leaving money on the table. And then you prescribe a real solution inside of your VIP partnership program such that they make you their exclusive. And you can do all that over the phone and through Zoom. So you can literally do this while quarantine in your quarantine cash cave, kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum, crushing it while everyone else is hunkering down and sticking their heads in their proverbial turtle shells and waiting for the storm to reel, roll over. You can be leaving your competition in the dust. And that's precisely what our clients are doing, even in the midst of COVID-19. So if you guys would like to learn a little more about how we can help you and what it really takes to expand while everyone else is contracting, play offense while everyone else is playing defense, and to be able to turn adversity into opportunity, and you're on 100% commission as a residential mortgage professional, and you've got a compensation plan at 80 basis points or higher, and you want to increase your income by at least $100,000, in spite of COVID-19, in spite of all the uncertainty and chaos that's going on out there right now, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where we'll lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where do you want to be? If we can help you create that breakthrough and bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be, I'll show you how or we'll show you how. If not, we'll be the first people to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you'll leave the call with more clarity than you ever had before. You'll have crystal clarity. You'll know exactly what it's going to take to take your business to the next level. And if indeed we decide we're a good fit, we can actually be that bridge for you to bridge that gap faster, easier, better. So you can condense decades into days and go stratospheric and literally ignite your business like we're pouring gasoline on the fire. So if you'd like to learn about how we can help you do that, I invite you to book a call. Let's chat. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Let's just have a chat and see what we can do for you by having a honest conversation and just uncover where you're at and what it's going to take to get you to where you really want to be. All right, guys, this is Doran Aldana, MortgageMarketingCoach.com, Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. We've been talking today about how to attract new top producing realtors while in quarantine without the hell of cold calling or even meeting with them in person. I trust you guys got some insight, some new ideas that you didn't have before. Keep tuning in. Thanks for hanging with me. Love you. Appreciate you. Rise up, y'all. Rise up. Let's be the beacon of light in the darkness. Let's be the pillar of strength for those who are looking for that certainty in times of uncertainty. We can be the bridge. We can be the difference maker. We can be the leader that we are called to be. We don't have to be part of the problem. We can be part of the solution. So let's rise up, guys. In times of fear, leaders are needed more than ever before. You guys are called to be leaders right here, right now. So let's rise up and let's help everyone in our lives, especially our clients and our partners win in such a time as this. All right, guys, thanks for hanging with me. Doran Aldana, appreciate you. Let's go out there. Let's make a difference in the world. Peace.